hello folks uh, in this video I'm going to uh, develop the code for home.html file which will be our front end page uh, where we will be basically accepting values from the user with respect to state R&D spend admin spend and marketing spend so user will be providing these values uh, on the text box uh, on the web page and uh, those value will be submitted uh, as a form to the web server so our web request will go as a post request in fact if the request will go as a post request to the uh, remote web server and th that remote web server will accept these values and uh, the, these values will then be in, uh, fed to the multiple linear regression model to provide the prediction uh, prediction in terms of profit so that a venture capitalist can know whether this company is going to be profitable or not so our prediction result is profit okay which uh, which is going to be present on a separate predict.html page here right so if you remember in the demo uh, I want to mimic something like this okay so this is a front end page for our uh, uh, model prediction and the user will provide the values in these text boxes for New York, California, Florida state, R&D spend, admin spend, marketing spend and it will and then he or she will hit the submit button. Now this after as soon as he hit the submit button these value will travel over the internet okay as a post request to the remote web server where our backend or the app.py file is kept okay now that app.py file that contains uh, as i told you the multiple linear regression model and that model will accept these values and will provide the result in terms of profit okay so without further delay let's get started uh, so let's go on our uh, home.html page and here we will include the first line of code as doc type html so this is will be the high level uh, line uh, it will come as a first line for this web page and it determines whether this document type what will be the document type of this file so here in this case it is html so i have included html here okay so now uh, then we have a next tag html so everything every entire piece of code will be written in between this these html tags okay now these i'm basically i'm telling you the structure of uh, the web page right now so the high level this line and then we have a tag called html tag that means we are doing coding for html or we are developing the html web page then we have two more tags one is head okay and these basically whenever we create a tag there should be a closing tag as well prefixed by slash okay so for head also we will have head okay and then we have another tag called body okay so slash body closing tab head include the metadata of uh, the web page for example the title title of the web page so in this case let's include the title as title title prediction or profit prediction okay slash title and then we another metadata is css files so we can create the CSS. css files basically uh, are used to make the pages very beautiful so change the size font color etc of the elements present on the web page when i'm saying element elements are like text boxes check boxes labels etc so here we can include uh, uh, the css as well so css can be uh, you know the developers can create those css by themselves or we can find uh, standard css from the bootstrap web page okay so the bootstrap web page so we can type uh, 
command is something like bootstrap css cdn so when you enter uh, this page will pop up and uh, will be open and then you click on getting started okay so this is the bootstrap so bootstrap is the framework for creating web pages and uh, it uh, basically uh, present you with different element options as well so you can uh, you know you can copy paste the element elements various elements from this so i'm just going to copy this css cdn link cdn is content delivery network where this these cnn uh, css files are kept in cloud location okay so let me so this is kind of a metadata so as i told you the metadata will be kept in head tags and the body is uh, the section where we keep our elements or where we code for our elements so in this case when i told you these are the elements this is the label element this is the uh, heading okay this is the horizontal rule so, and this is the text box uh, submit button these are all, all our elements okay so we'll be including the code for this so in the body uh, let's see h1 h1 is the heading tag okay and uh, there are various levels of it h1 h2 h3 h4 h5 likewise okay then close this h1 tag and uh, So just give me a <clears throat> and then in this I'm just including this div tag div style tag uh, to align the text in center so if you see the this text is in center right now so I'm coding for this right now style okay and in this we have text align center so this will align our text in center and then we will close this div tag now i want i also want to change the color of it from black to blue the default is black so i want to include it in the blue color so for that i can include font color equals to blue okay and and then close this font tag and in between this uh, we can include our code or the heading like this profit prediction from start okay the next section is so after this i have included the horizontal rule so i can just include the hr tag here okay and after hr i can include the line break so after hr so there is you can see that there is some space here right this is space this comes with br tag okay or break track break tag now we have next task is to include this particular heading okay so what i can do is maybe i can copy this sorry copy this okay and i will delete the code for blue color okay and uh, another thing is i can just change the size of the heading to h2 so you can see there is a difference between the size so h1 is the top level and then you can decrease the size so i will include h2s yes. and now enter the heading for it okay so change the heading for it okay and now we will include one more line break code here okay so uh, folks let me stop here let me uh, in uh, you know cover the rest of the code in the next video so i'm stopping here uh, so keep on watching 
and uh, you will be able to know the further details in the next video thank you